So this is the first time we're turning on the DMP spectrometer. The jar is right now putting about 10 or 20 watts of power at 198 gigahertz. This is the first time that we're cooling the sample also. When it gets to about 120 Kelvin, we're gonna drop in this rotor that has our first standard sample in it. And it's gonna be spinning at the matched angle, and then we're gonna shine the microwaves on it and see if we can get a big NMR signal. Turns out right now, we have really powerful medicine that can destroy all of the active virus in your bloodstream if you have HIV AIDS. There are more than 20 drugs you can take. And when you take these drugs though, it knocks out all the active virus, but it doesn't destroy the virus that's hiding out in the DNA of your actual human chromosomes. So we're trying to design a new drug that can turn on that hiding latent virus. It turns out to do that right, you really wanna know what the structure is of those drugs. On a really atomic scale, you want to know exactly where all the carbons are, exactly where all the protons are. And when we do that experiment right now, it takes us months to perform the experiment. To conquer this problem, we're developing new technology. So we're actually building new microwave sources. And when we shine these high power, high frequency microwaves on our samples that contain the actual drugs inside of them, our experiments can go 100,000 times faster and it's really specialized. Nobody else in the world has a microwave source like the one we have. So all the students in the lab have been building all the equipment for about two and a half or three years now, and this is gonna be the first time that we really put everything together, so we're really psyched to get it going. Okay, I think we're ready here, you guys. You got it. Woo! Wow, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> DMP works, right? Uh -huh. It's only taken two and a half years. Right. We just turned it on and the signal is about a factor of 50 times higher than it was before. So if you build, if you shine the microwaves from the charge turn we built onto the sample, the NMR signal is about a factor of 50 bigger. So it worked, we, we planned everything right, it took a lot of effort from everybody on the team and that was a big success. <laughs>